Hello everyone, my name is George. Uh, I get, my common question I, I get asked all the time is they want to see videos of my, of my drill setup. Um, drill is a term we made up because EO cables and drill. Uh, most guys use an electric radical drill. I do like the cordless. It makes it easier for them to do septic jobs away from the house. Just gotta grab the drill and go. I do carry three baskets in the truck. I carry 164 feet in every truck. So uh, the two baskets have two separate have have se seven six footers. Um, this one has six six footers and three footers. What's up, everybody? Today I'm doing a, a video. On What's up, everybody? Today I'm doing a video on a common asked question: my drill setup. So a drill is basically a drill with eel cables. I have two cables I carry in my truck, eight footer and four footer. So in my truck I carry 160 foot, 160 foot cable and three baskets. So the two baskets in the truck have seven eight footers. This one has six eight footers, a four footer, and all the heads I use. So the most common head I use is a root saw, three inch root saw. It's great for opening and see what the problem is. I do have a three inch root saw that's a sludge pusher. I do use this, this is my, I used for getting backwards in septic tanks through the baffle. I do have a clock chopper, which I don't use that often, I do have it. Um, and, triangle drill. I started out using the, um, the mud mixer at one point, and I broke it. So I went to the regular hog, I liked they use it for years, burnt that up. Um, that's a super hog a couple years ago, and it's been holding up really well. I like that it does free spin when you hit tension on the cable. If you let go, it takes pressure off. It takes tension off the cable, which is really nice. Um, it does spin pretty fast. You know, I use uh, usually 12 amp hour batteries on it. So we'll do a quick little demo on taking it apart. It's together really simple. This is a typical adapter most people ask about. This is a C cable, by the way. I don't know if I said that already. So that's it. It's on. off. I've only ever had one come apart in the line. It was my fault. Uh, I was running 16 foot sections and not paying attention and I had it in a basket of 16 foot sections so it must not have been locked when I put it in a basket and I ran it down the line and 30 foot down I left some cable down the line. I was able to retrieve it but I got it out. Um, other than that I've never had any issues there. I will post some videos on techniques how to use them. You know it's like any tool you know gotta be safe using them gotta be smart. You know, I work at homes with tight basements, so getting stuff into basements is really tough. Yep. I am missing one section, one section out of here, but you can see it doesn't weigh anything. So when you work by yourself, you just take it, walk into the basement, get the job done. Uh, roughly starting up, I think um, you must, you might be somewhere around about twenty-seven hundred dollars to get started up and actually have all the cables to go start doing drain cleaning with the eel, with the eel setup. I'll be posting a link below. Um, so uh, the link below will be for from Customize. Customize put a package together for me. It is not EO cables because EO you can only buy it through local distributor, but they are general cables, exact same cables except they're ten footers. But he does have a package if you're interested in looking to do, to get into using the drills. Um, he has one cordless, he has one electric, all the baskets, all the cables, all the ends, and one package. It's a good way to start, you know. Hope I likes the video. Um, comment below. If you want to see anything else, I'll try to be more active in posting what I use and uh, how to use my, the equipment I have. Thank you.